just have to have my hand up, but welcome back to Vlogmas. Uh, today, it's actually later in the day where I'm when I'm starting this. Don't mind the mess in the background. We're gonna deal with that in just a second, but I just finished up work for the day. A lot of emails have been staring at my screen and I need to get outside and just like get some fresh air, take cashew for, I was gonna say a walk. We're actually gonna go to the dog park. Hopefully there's some dogs there. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys kind of my winter nighttime routine in a very casual vlogmas sort of fashion. I'm very excited. I already know what I'm making for dinner and it's so good. I've teased it on Instagram and oh my God, it's so good. Just, just, just you wait, you're gonna be so excited. Um, what else? Oh. Before we go to the dog park, I need to give a quick tidy up of this house. Just pick up a few things before we go because I hate, oh, the sun just got really bright. I hate leaving the house um, in the evening when the house, does that make sense? I, I don't like leaving for the evening if the house is still kind of a mess just from like the work day and stuff. So we're gonna do a quick little tidy up and then uh, just kind of go throughout my winter nighttime routine and things I've been doing, has this been crooked the whole time, kind of. Uh, and things I've been doing to wind down, get cozy, and just like our kind of everyday casual um, routine in the evening. So I'm gonna do a quick little cleaning montage. Cashew is like getting restless, she wants to go. So we're gonna do a really quick cleanup. I'm also gonna just see what I have for ingredients so I know what to, we're probably gonna stop at the grocery store after the dog park to get some things for dinner. And then, yeah, that's about it. So uh, let's let's get tidying up. I'm just drinking water, I'm like been so thirsty. I think I need to find my humidifiers. I have two of them, we bought them from Costco last year because my skin was so dry last winter and I think I need to get them out again because I've just been like extra thirsty and just starting to feel like that dry, that dryness from I think the heater and stuff like that. I don't know, but hydrate. Oh, that was quick. All right, let's do some cleaning or tidying up. So we had the kids over last night for pizza and movie night and things are kind of messy from that. We got dishes out. I don't know what is going on here, but yeah, it's not looking the cleanest, so we're gonna tidy up a bit. Chloe's got her stuff all over the place. Where? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Um, Cashew's got her toys everywhere. The tree's even shedding. We need to vacuum that up. <laughs> I always get questions on how I wash these silicone stasher bags from our shop and you just kind of like keep them open on the top rack and it will get clean and dry and they don't get moldy. I get a lot of questions about that, but no, they're really easy to clean. the freezer I had some really ripe bananas that I need to chop up or else they're gonna go bad so I'm just gonna pop those into the freezer for future smoothies and then these will go in the compost
So someone actually told me when we picked up the Christmas tree in that vlog, they told me in the comments that they put thieves essential oil in the water of their tree. Now the guys at the tree farm said don't put anything in the bucket of water, but like this stuff's amazing. Uh, if you haven't tried, thieves is super antibacterial. I use it to clean my home, to clean the air. It's so good. So I'm just gonna try it because they said they swear by it. They said when they don't use it, the needles fall like so many needles fall off the tree and when they do use it they notice like a huge reduction in it so i'm now that i just like cleaned up the needles i'm gonna put this in right now just like a few drops to see if it does anything but i don't think it's gonna hurt the tree because it's just essential oil but we'll we'll see <laughs> two two weeks later <laughs> tree's dead <laughs> so i'm trusting you who said that so um but yeah i will link this one down below if you guys are interested but thieves is such a good all-round household cleaner oil and let's see if it keeps the tree greener longer. <laughs> All right, tree, don't die on me. Just getting bundled up, still loving this hat. I got it from Madewell, I'll link it down below. I shared it when it was on sale for Cyber Week, but I'm sure it's still there. Okay, we're going, we're going. I just put some comfy pants on. I'm gonna, Chloe's got her tea, Chloe's coming with us. I got my water in the car. I'm still like so thirsty. Are yeah, you So thirsty. Uh, we're gonna bring Cashew's harness too because I think we might stop at the pet store to grab some treats, huh? When you have a dog, gloves, warm gloves are essential. I'm also gonna bring a scarf just in case it's, it gets cold. And then I'm gonna go grab her harness, which is in the back. So this is where we go every night. <laughs> Not every night, but weekends, whenever we can before it gets dark now. She knows the way, obviously, because she's just running. I'm not gonna lie, this is like one of my favorite things about having a dog, is just being out in nature more. And I don't know, I just never would have been outside this much if I didn't have cashews. So, like, I know it's so nice. Look at these trees. Great, let her out. Be free. <gasps> Cashew! Cashew! Okay, we're done at the dog park. It's getting pretty chilly and dark. So Matt actually is catching an early train, which works out perfectly. Oh, you can turn that one off. Uh, he's catching an early train, so we're gonna go get him and then go to the grocery store and grab what we need. It is so blue. It's like living in a snow globe. Cashy, you have fun? Yeah? Guys, if you have a dog, it is so important to get them outside. Even if it's cold for you, like, get gear. Put on a heavy jacket, get some good snow boots, get some gloves, hats, mitts. Those are the same thing. Um, but like your dog is gonna want exercise. So and especially if you live in a colder climate like Canada, it is snowy like I'd say three quarters of the, of the year. So it's like if you don't go out in the winter time, they're not gonna get exercise all winter long and they really need it. Like I notice a huge difference with Cashew when we don't take her and like, we obviously like walk her and stuff, but like it's important for them to like get like a good run into and socialize, right Cashew? We're gonna go to the grocery store. This is the busiest road ever, but maybe we'll catch a break. Oh no, no, we're not. Look who's joining the party. Cashew. We all moved out of the driver's seat. I know. <laughs> like. We can do. You gotta go to the grocery store. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Let's go before all the people go. You Good have life. to be so careful when you're getting out of the go station. People just usually run in front of cars. It's mayhem. Drive control. Like, yeah, like this guy go, right go, now. Go, go, just go. cutting us off. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. People always in a rush to, to yeah. get out. We're filming a winter nighttime routine. Oh, well, forgive my swearing earlier. 
it's not very holiday spirity. But I'm making that vegetable. Wait, sorry, which one are you doing? Winter. Winter. winter no, winter nighttime routine. Oh, okay. I'm okay. making that vegetable soup again. And I got some sourdough bread. I'm probably gonna buy a pizza, maybe. No, you're not. Yeah. Seriously? I got a feeling I got a craving for pizza. I had soup are the you other actually? day. I had soup the other day. I'm gonna. Oh, no, I'm making Ooh, soup tonight. I don't even pizza. like it. You stop it. Pizza. No. Pink crust soup. Pink crust. Like See what I have to deal with? Mushroom. So hard to eat healthy when you got these breaths. Not even a soup guy. And then you're, you you loved the do soup up, when I made two, it the other day. Two, two, soups two times in a week? That is insane. Insane. For having insane. not be done. eating some tangerines so good we're gonna put the groceries away and then start on dinner oh yeah we need to First, turn off all the lights let's pour a glass of wine no wine no wine wasn't that in your notes yeah okay we have wine all right <laughs> some wine salute time to put on all the lights, it's a process. Let's do it. Do this every night some of them which i'm going to talk about in a sec we have timers for now because i'm learning i was an amateur i didn't understand the timers now you need the timers so let's go back So tonight I'm diffusing some Northern Lights Black Spruce. It smells like winter trees in here. Oh, and did Tia Chloe make you dinner? Got bone broth, mango. What a spoiled girl. Oh Maybe my too. God, she's so cute. Show side, show side. Oh. Sit, sit, sit. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, can mommy just see? Wow, that's a nice jacket though. Like it's really good quality. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have some red kidney beans, carrots, green beans, collard greens. I did forget zucchini, which I'm so sad about, but it's fine. We have lots of veg, it'll still taste good, but usually add zucchini as well. I'm currently in full on cozy mode. I'm wearing my new sweater I got from American Eagle. Oh man, oh man, oh man. There we go. Like, look at how cozy this is. I'm just gonna be here, Chloe. Chloe's making BLTs to go with the soup. Soup's done. And I'm actually just gonna be reviewing tomorrow's Vlogmas 
so cool how we're like filming, editing, reviewing, so much going on with Vlogmas. It's really cool. Um, oh, I clicked the wrong link. So I'm gonna review this <laughs> exactly like this. Drink my wine and wait for my BLT to be finished. I'm very excited. Chloe's putting pickles in it. We got some good Coslix mustard. It's gonna be a good feast. I'm excited and I gotta figure out how to open this video. So just in case you're wondering, when you come onto the homepage for Health Net Nutrition, so just go to like youtube.com, type in Health Net Nutrition in this top field here, and this is the homepage. Some people don't know that YouTube has a homepage, just like a blog. So there'll be a video already playing, which is uh, the first Vlogmas, but I also put the full playlist here right underneath. So, so far we have four episodes going on right now. We also have our lovely little Vlogmas banner that Jazz created, so cute. I love these photos of us. And yeah, everything's super easy to find. So we have all the vlogs here. We have all the latest uploads here. And then also popular videos what I eat in a day videos, meal prep videos, vlogs, everything is all categorized, so it's easy to find everything. But in case you're wondering uh, to find Vlogmas stuff, it's right at the top, and then you can just see our lovely little banner, and it's like just, you know, it's all Vlogmasified, and I just think it looks so cute. So uh, the video is done being downloaded, so I'm gonna review the next one. Chloe made epic. BLTs, oh my god. Pickles, mustard, lettuce, bacon, oh, so good. So I'm gonna get myself some soup, eat this while I'm editing, and this is like the best night ever. It's free, we're doing Vlogmas videos all month long, Monday to Friday, mm. until Christmas. Actually, until Boxing Day, because we're filming really Boxing good. Day, so. First category is fitness. Now, I feel like I've been kind of, it's been a bit of a roller. So it is a couple of hours later. I'm just cozy in bed right now, watching actually a little bit of my own Vlogmas. Not my own Vlogmas, but like just people I like to follow. I've been watching um, Zoella right now. I love her vlogs. They're always so like just festive and long. I personally really like long vlogs. But uh, yeah, anyways, I kind of got into this like black spiral hole of looking at older videos. So I was watching Zoella and I was just like, I don't know, it just hit me thinking, isn't it crazy that, you know, she started doing like a channel, started vlogging and making videos online, not having any idea of like where she'd be right now in her life. Like obviously like her and her boyfriend Elfie like live in this beautiful home. They have this beautiful like life and you know, and obviously like not everything is what you show, share on uh, on like on social media. But like my point is it just like, it. I don't know, it just kind of made me think, oh, I wanna go look at some of her older videos. So I was just watching some of her old videos because I find it so fascinating to see how where people were like then and now and how they've kind of grown as a person and their business and just, I don't know, I find it really fascinating. And then it got me wanting to look at some of my old videos and I don't know, I just, I'm feeling very like nostalgic and like a little sentimental, like, I honestly like I was watching a couple older videos and it almost made me a little a little teary-eyed like I just I don't know looking back at some of the old videos I've done just makes me realize how far I've come with my channel and I can tell where it wasn't fully comfortable with with filming and I just wasn't being like my my authentic self and also I look at certain videos where I know like deep down I wasn't feeling good especially with my anxiety and I think that's like I don't want to get upset about but like I think that's what like really hits home for me because like when you guys watch those videos you know you don't like you don't know what's or when you watch someone's videos at any point you don't really know what's going on in their life and in their mind and and what's going on behind the scenes so it's just like watching those videos it's kind of like watching memories right and so as much as this is my job it's also my life and i put my memories online for other people to follow my life and it's also kind of crazy for me to look back at anyways i'm looking at these videos and i'm just like really 
like just thinking about the person I was at that time in those videos and how much I've grown and you know yes I still have some of the struggles but also like I've overcome so many things that I just thought like I just was never gonna come out of and it was just really it was very humbling to be honest and um, a bit like I don't know if empowering is the right word but just like it just made me feel so grateful of like how much I've grown and like even overcome with my anxiety and I just know like I look back at some of those videos and like I know I was uncomfortable in my skin like I was literally having such bad cystic acne from all these like hormonal issues I was having and my anxiety was at its peak and I was just feeling like crap to be honest and I just look at that and I know what I was thinking at that time and it's just like it's so crazy to kind of see then and now and like I said yes I still struggle through things a lot of things but I can just see like my growth and yeah I don't know hopefully that made sense but yeah not to get all sentimental you guys but like it just yeah I don't know it just like really hit me and uh, made me think so like I don't know anyone else that um, is a content creator makes YouTube videos or you just share like your personal life online It's so crazy. You can probably relate to like look back and you can kind of pinpoint. It's kind of like when you Like there's a, a, a song that comes on the radio and it brings you right back to a certain point in your life I guess it's kind of like that but like I'm seeing it in a video form and it's kind of surreal and crazy and It just makes me realize how far I've come even just like with the business never thought it'd be where it is today and it's crazy anyways this is kind of a tangent but just kind of what was on my mind and that's what's happening that's my nighttime routine but uh yeah i'm just in here watching some vlogmas matt's watching some netflix in the living room sometimes we actually a lot of times we kind of do our own thing probably like a couple times a week um and then uh because there's sometimes things i want to watch and sometimes things he wants to watch but um but yeah that's what you do when you live with someone for so long you just kind of like find your own routines like you don't have to do everything together so that is my cozy nighttime routine <laughs> uh just like a real life uh nighttime routine what we do uh it's different all the time to be honest um but today was really nice it was nice to have chloe over for dinner um but i don't know how long this vlog is gonna be so i'm gonna wrap it up um but yeah i just i'm so grateful for you guys like you have no idea how much youtube has helped me in my life and i hope my channel has helped you guys in some way it helped motivate you inspire you um and if you ever think my life is perfect by any means because like when people comment that in the comment section like i and i'm i know they're not like saying it in a rude way but i just think oh, if only you knew and you know i really try to share like the real stuff and not just the highlights um but just know like my life is by no means perfect and i have you know my skeletons in the closet or just struggles i deal with just like anybody else um but i try to share the positive stuff and things that make me happy and things i want to put out into the world to make other people happy so uh yeah anyways i forgot <laughs> this is what happens when vlogging at like 11 o'clock at night so i'm gonna end this uh question of the day today what is your favorite thing about youtube do you just like to live vicariously through other people's lives do you feel like it motivates you do you feel like it's just kind of like a therapy session for you like you can just relate um i would love to know leave me a comment down below I don't think I've ever asked that question. And as always, don't forget to subscribe uh, and make sure to follow both myself and Miss Cashew, our boxer bull mastiff puppy uh, on Instagram because we are doing 12 days of giveaways throughout the month of December. We're kind of spreading them out so we have people have longer time to enter, but there's some really good prizes that you can uh, enter in for a chance to win. So definitely check those out. And just thank you so much, guys. I love you guys so much. You have no idea. Every day I wake up and I'm just so grateful that this is my job and my life. And I, I don't know, YouTube is part of my identity and I don't know what I would do or be without it. So, which is kind of weird to say, but I will see you guys in the next Vlogmas video. I love you and happy Vlogmas. Bye guys.